Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have a new box for the channel today. It is from Maniology. I am so excited, I can't even tell you the last time I was this excited about opening a box. Let's get into it and check it out. I've set a box. This is not their subscription box. They do have one, and I'll tell you more about that at the end, but this is just the start of a brand new relationship with Maniology. They reached out, asked if I would like to try it on the channel. You guys know, generally speaking, I do my own nails, and I went over and checked it out, and it looks like so much fun. Oh my gosh, I get to paint my nails, I get to do designs on them. They sent over a starter kit for us to try. <sighs> I'm really hoping that I'm good at this. I went out, I watched their introductory videos, which I will link down below. I will link everything. They have given me the code Catherine. It will get you 10% off your starter kit over at the site. I will link it below. Let me first tell you about everything that we got and then we're gonna do it. I came in bare, so we're ready to do everything. But after we open the polishes, I think we'll pick a couple of colors in our design. I'll go put the base color on and then we'll do the stamping. I am just so excited. Let me tell you a little bit about Maniology as I show you my products. And I will link all of the products that I chose below in case as we look at them, you think that it's something you would like to do too. I will have the links down below for you. I just really like doing my own nails and I think that this is such a fun and easy way just to show self-expression but see her nails so that's going to be on the plates in this kit i'm going to open this up this is the starter kit that i chose it's the forever young stamping starter kit it's going to have the plates that you need the stamper you need the scraper a couple of polishes technically everything you need is in your starter kit so when I open it up, you can see these are the plates and I'll take the cover off so you can see. We have the book, I'm sure, that will give you tons of information. And then this is our stamper and we've got our two polishes. I just noticed my scraper came out with my booklet. <laughs> the first thing you're gonna do, at least the first thing I'm gonna do when you get this is take your protective coating off. Isn't that satisfying? I love that. And I chose this set because I thought it would be 100% universal. I wanted to choose something that I thought more than likely a lot of you guys would like. They have so many, endless, I, maybe hundreds, maybe hundreds of plates. There were so many choices, but you can see it's a lot of reflections. I will show you these again when I tilt my camera down to do my nails so you'll get a clearer view of them because they are, they're like glass. They're gonna reflect anything we do here, but see how they're just kind of gradients? It's not really pictures, just kind of swirls and designs. We have a few words over on this one. It's the same thing. How great would this one or this one be for Valentine's Day? I think one of the ones I picked, yeah, this for St. Patrick's Day because of the lucky horseshoes. And then there's the little designs on the side. It just felt really universal. Plus there's words. You have live, love, laugh, sweet, my dear, happy, lucky. And this is really probably the most important part. We have our stamper and the stamper is what gets all of the magic done. And that is what it looks like. It's just an ice cube stamper. The top is silicone. Can you see the, yeah, see the bend of it? And you just whoop. I'll show you in a sec. And then this kit came with a blue and a white. The blue is Indicon, and this is, bam, white. <laughs> That's what they look like. That's what came in my starter kit. So you have everything that you need in the starter kit to do your nails, to do all of these designs, it's fantastic. What you'll do, and we'll do all of this in a second, is you're gonna take some of your nail polish, you're gonna put it on your card, you're gonna take this at a 45 degree angle, scoot across it, take your little stamper, and then stamp right over the design you just did and apply it to your nail. I know, it seems super easy. I'm feeling like even I can do it, and I have absolutely no talent when it comes to nail art, art of any sort. But let me show you what else we received. The nail polish set that I chose is called The Gardener. Look how secure this comes. Inside the box, it's, how secure is that? Since it's summer, I went with The Gardener because I felt like it was just gorgeous pastels. How beautiful are those gonna be? And their polishes are different. They are a creamier polish 
that's made to make the stamping stand out more. You can use your own base if you want. You can use these for a base. I will probably use one of these for the base so it's an entire Maniology manicure, but you can use your own base. They do recommend using these for your stamping because they are creamier and they will make your stamp pop more. But they do say if you have a one coat polish, you can try it with that too because they tend to be thicker and creamier, but we want to try their polishes. Next, we also have their sticky base coat and smudge free top coat. Say that both of these work better for the stamping. You'll see when I do it why. Once you get the stamp on there, you want you don't want a thick top coat that could smudge what you've just done. I have a couple of more plates that we picked out. NP278, and again, I will link all of this below. This is another one that's a natural gradient. I just felt like the gradient ones, which were like the ones in my starter kit, would be really universal. And this one has hearts and triangles and fall leaves and what looks like raindrops and stars shamrocks so again you could use it for so many holidays and i will show you all of these plates again when i do my nails because while we're filming like this the reflection is going to be a problem and the other plate that i chose is m104 and it's called sun and sand and i thought okay well if we're going to do one with cute pictures on it let's do a fun summer one one more satisfying peel off oh yes yeah, it's so cute can you guys see? Look, oh yeah, there's an anchor and a starfish. We have the sun and ice cream, sodas. Look at the cute little turtle. These are so cute. This is gonna be so much fun, guys. I can't wait to do this. I also have a couple of tools because each time you do this, between stamps, between each finger, you're gonna to wanna to take your cotton pad and some acetone and wipe this down because this is a light etching and you don't want it to be full of the nail polish from the nail you just did. You want it to be clean so you'll get the cleanest pickup. So you just take that and you wipe it off. But in theory, you're painting your nails so it's difficult to work with acetone. One of the things they say you can do if you don't want to buy the tool right away is you can take like tweezers and soak a cotton ball or a cotton pad in your acetone and then pick it up with the tweezers and wipe it over the that way you're not touching it with your hands but what they have and how cute is this is it's a pineapple and all you have to do with this is push it down and it gives you a little claw to pick up your cotton pads so just have a couple of pre-soaked cotton balls or cotton pads with you you know like on a paper plate or however you want it however you'd like to live your life. Actually, in one of their videos, they showed it, they had taken the cotton pads and put them in a mason jar and then soaked them in acetone and they just reached down into the mason jar and pulled out a cotton pad and that seemed to make a lot of sense. But so this is really just a cool tool, tool though for a little grabby. And then the other product, because knowing me and the mess I'm likely to make is an angled precision brush. And the whole point of this angled precision brush is, when you do it, you are absolutely going to end up with the pattern on your finger. Now, when I do it, you'll see that you don't actually take most of it off with nail polish remover. You do it with scotch tape, I know. I was amazed the first time I saw it. It works so easily, but for the finer points, once you've done all you can do, because you can only get so close with the scotch tape, so you can take this and just do it right at your nail bed with a little acetone on it, you know, just at the edges. I'm gonna be great at this, trying to do this to camera. Just right at the edges to clean up, just to get a really nice edge. You have that really pretty angled brush. Can you see the bottom is so pretty? Love that. I think that is everything that I have to show you. To start, you really just need the starter set. You need a couple of plates, you need the stamper, the scraper, a couple of polishes, totally get you started. You can probably work the rest out from things that you have at home, or you can make it easier on yourself to pick up the extra products, but that's entirely up to you. Also, and I should say, I think I did say at the beginning, they did send me these products for review, and also I think I'm going to be an affiliate, but if I am, I will tell you right next to the link down below, because I, you know, we have to be upfront about when we are actually going to be an affiliate for something. Okay, let's get this all set up and dive into doing this. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. I'm sure there's a learning curve. I have no doubt that the very first time that I do it, it's not gonna be perfection, but we don't know. I could be awesome at it. Let's see if it's true. Right, guys, we're gonna get into this. I've read all the videos. I think I have all the information. So let's jump in. I thought about all the colors and what was the best thing to do. And I think what we're gonna do, since this is what came with my Forever Young starter kit, I think that we'll use these two, but then maybe we'll pick a color out of these that was the gardener set that I got. And out of one of these, maybe we'll do an accent finger. 
Let's see. First thing we're going to do, and I'll do most of this off camera so you don't have to sit through me spending hours doing my nail, is we're going to do the sticky base coat. It is B3804. Let's see how it feels. I've put a piece of white paper down, hoping that it helps with the color on the video. So, just a quick sticky base coat. It goes on the same as any other that I've ever used. So let me finish this up and I'll be right back. So having done all 10, I will say that it goes on really smoothly. We have a nice shiny coat, so let's let this dry. Two minutes has gone by and it is already dry to the touch. So we're gonna move on. I think I'm going to paint white and stamp blue. So this is Bam White B170. And again, it's part of the Forever Young starter kit. And I will do this just like I did the base coat. I will show you just a little bit and then we'll move on. Oh wow, for a white, that is incredible coverage in one coat. When they say they are one coat, they are not kidding. For something else to keep in mind as I do this, this is only gonna look as good as I am at doing it. I have never been great at nail painting. I'm trying to get better. I've learned that like you're not supposed to get all the way back to your cuticle, things like that, but I still do it. I have really small nails and I think sometimes that makes a difference too. My daughter has just the loveliest long nail beds. She did not get that from me. The beauty is when we're done with this, we have that nice new brush that we can dip in the acetone and clean up everywhere. I've gotten a little extra paint at my cuticles. Look how much better my nails look already just with one coat of white. Oh my goodness. Let me start by saying right now. <laughs> I just made a mess of that finger, but again, no problem. We'll fix it with our nice brush. I have never, and I enjoy a white fingernail, so I have owned a million different ones. I have never had a single coat white polish that completely covered. I mean, I don't need to do a second coat. That is amazing. I think we are dry enough now to start stamping. So I'm gonna get my stamper. I read a lot about it and they suggested that when you first got these, sometimes they had a little bit of oil on them from the process of making them. So to wash it with a light soap, I used a light dish soap. But then after that, because you have to dry it a little bit with a paper towel, just to take scotch tape, which we're gonna need several times during this process, and just go over the top, just to be sure that if it picked up any lint while I was drying it that we get that off. Okay, that has to be cleaned. We'll just start keeping the tape right here. I am an absolute mix of excited and slightly nervous. We're gonna start with Indicon, which is B200. It is this gorgeous blue color. And I think from the starter kit, I'm gonna use this plate and we're gonna use this design right here. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that. This design. It's kind of stars, just light and fun. So we're gonna do that over all of my nails. Everyone I saw, they just took the nail polish and they put it just mostly on the left half. I think we have to move kind of quickly here. Then they scrape off to the side at a 45 degree angle. I might've left too much up top on that one. And then they just rolled it over it. I don't think I did a great job picking that up. So we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna try it again. We're gonna have a learning curve here. Let's see if we can, yeah. And that was a good learning experience too. Just in showing it to you guys, I talked too long and it wouldn't pick it up. Let's clean this up and we'll try it again. First off, the easy cleanup. They say take your scotch tape and your stamper and you're just, oh, it does, it works really good. Can you guys see? It picks it right up. They say, do not use acetone on this. You don't want to use your acetone on it because it will ruin the silicone and you don't need to because it just picked up everything that I put down. We're going to take this little pineapple. Unfortunately, I did not get out to get cotton pads. So we're going to use the cotton ball. I have 100% acetone here and we have to clean our plate each time. So just get a little bit of acetone on here and yep, cleans up the plate easy peasy. Get it dry. And then they say, after you do that, go ahead and take your scotch tape again. So we're gonna use a lot of scotch tape here because we're gonna, in theory, do this after each nail and go over this to make sure you pick up any fuzzies you might've left down. Actually, I'm gonna set that right here because I can probably use that again. I think it was probably in my swiping. Also timing, I think I've gotta get quicker, swipe quicker. Okay, let's try it. Oh, 
What did it good? Oh my gosh, that is so cute! Can you see the little stars on my pinkies? It is so cute. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of blue that's also on my finger. But we'll give that a second to dry and they say you can come right back through. Take your handy dandy scotch tape that we're going to use for so much and just pick up what's stuck to your finger. So I am just going to lay it right aside my finger and pick up any parts that are on the outside. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so fun. And then actually, we'll just take this and clean this too. And now everything's clean. Let's see if we can reuse the same. I know acetone dries really quickly, but nope, it seems to be working again. So if we only have to get a new cotton ball every couple of times. I will show you a couple of more times doing this, but clearly you don't want to watch me do all, of, all 10 of my fingers. I am clearly not going to be fast at this. So I did half. Oh, I gotta find a better place to set this. I did half of it. Oh, I did not scrape that well. Let's, let's scrape it again. They say don't scrape it again, so we'll see how it picks up. This could go badly and it's my fault if it does. Nope, it did not. Oh my gosh, that is so much fun. I skipped this finger on purpose. We're gonna do the accent on this finger, but oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I will jump in periodically. I cannot tell you guys how much fun it was doing this. I really enjoyed it and I kind of felt like I got better as I went along. I did make a couple of mistakes and I will tell you guys about those, but I wanted to mention that the acetone that you use has to be 100% acetone. It can't have any of the other products, aloes or anything that's softening or good for your skin, just 100% acetone or it can leave the oil on your plate and that will make it difficult for you to pick up your design. So 100% acetone. I also meant to tell you more about the subscription. You can choose the subscription. It is $25 a month. You will get two plates, I think two nail polishes and a bonus item. It's $25, but if you do it over three months, it's $67.50 or over six months, it's $120. That's a really good savings. I think probably a starter box is a great place to begin, but I just want you guys to know that the subscription boxes are out there. Also, I have a code Catherine that will get you 10% off your order, but it doesn't work on subscription boxes. I'm showing you there. Did you see how easy all of that just came right off the ice cube stamper? Just with some tape, it lifts it right off easy peasy. I forgot what I was showing you there is I had meant to leave that ring finger empty also to do our other design so I could do it on both ring fingers, but no, I forgot. So I'm going to skip my middle finger, you'll see, and that's where we'll put the designs that I choose. And also in watching this back, I realized what an absolute mess I made around my cuticles, but it was so easy to go in and clean up afterwards with a little bit of acetone. I loved this finger over here and this finger over here that we could do for accent pieces. I, I, I meant to leave both of these, but as you can see, I forgot. I was so excited doing it. I hope I got some good footage of me doing it. I watched the intro video, and again, I will link that below for you guys because obviously they've been doing it. They are much better at it than I am, but I will tell you, the learning curve is not as hard as I thought. I think the hardest thing that I just did was remembering after I scraped it to put this to lean it on something so that it was then easy to pick up off the paper and I didn't have to get my newly done nails down onto the paper. Also, I think probably I'm using a little too much again. I'm sure with the learning curve, that is something we'll learn. So that is it for this color. This was Indicon B200. I'm gonna get into my gardener pack over here and I decided that this would probably go well with it. It's called Moon Glow. It is B245. I think it'll look nice with it, but let me clean up from this. Just a skosh. This thing is so handy, but they did say if you didn't want to pick one of these up, people use tweezers the same way. Just hold the cotton ball with your tweezers and it does the same thing. I think probably I will purchase some cotton pads. I think this would be easier with cotton pads instead of just cotton balls. We're going to jump over to this one and this is the Plate M104. Can you guys see this adorable turtle? He is so stinking cute. Oh, that might show him really well. I think that we'll use him as my accent piece since here we are. This was called M104, I think Sand and Sun. So 
Let's try him. This is going to be harder because he's just a tiny little dot of a turtle. In theory, I am following the exact same process. I will just get him good and coated. And then we will scrape him off. Rock. Yep, he looks good. And luckily, and I don't know that any way I can show you guys this, you can see your finger down through the stamper so you know exactly where to put him. Oh my gosh. Now I kind of wish I had done him on all of my fingers. How stinking cute is that? This is so much fun. My girls are going to love doing this. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. We need to clean him up and do him again. And when you get better at this, and I'm gonna get better, they make some that you can actually layer so that you could do like the background of the turtle and then a different color over it. It's just, I didn't think that layering <laughs> was where we wanted to go the very first time out with this, but I will be having more of these. This is adorable. Picked him up great again. Oh my gosh, he's perfect. He's just perfect. How fun is that? It is so easy, guys. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. This is just, this is just too, oh my gosh. Technically, I should clean up any edges that I have with my acetone and my brush before I do my top coat because we don't want to take a chance on locking in any colors. I don't really have much of my, my bigger issue is where I went over with the white when I was putting on. I didn't put it on great, but the rest of it lifts so well with the tape that I almost don't have to clean that up. But I do want to use this brush, so let's see. I have one little piece over here. These look good. Is this good? Yep, that's just my cuticle. Oop, there's a little blue right there. This is all about that white. That's all it needs to come off over here. And yeah, I realized when I was watching this back in editing that there was way more white around my edges of my nails that I didn't realize, but I just got some acetone after the fact. I put a little on a Q-tip and just got the white off of there. And it looks quite lovely now. I did miss a couple of blue spots on this one, but they just came up easy peasy. Okay, I got to use all my tools. That was fun. We now have our smudge-free top coat. It is B. 382 and I think it's going to be a thinner top coat. This first time that I do it, I'm only going to use this, but I will see how it wears. I also have an Essie that I love that gives you almost like a gel top coat feel. And I kind of figured that after I use this one, because I do want to protect it with this because it's a little thinner and the smudge free will mean that it won't damage any of the artwork that you just did. But if on top of that, I feel like I want a little more of a gel look, I'll use mine too, but this very first time out, I'm just gonna use this just to see how it wears. I think putting the shine on it actually makes the design even pop a little more, and that is so fun. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be doing this so much. I think, even today, because I'm doing it for the camera, which obviously makes it take a little bit longer because I'm trying to be very mindful of what I do and where I do it, but I think that probably once a person got good at this, you could probably do it in no more than no more than 10 minutes. This one is with the top coat and this one was without. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I feel like it makes it pop a little more. I'll tell you one thing, this top coat smells better than my top coat. Speaking of scents, and this is kind of a if you know, you know, I have done my own nails for a billion years and you know, you crawl in bed that night and you have your hands near your face and you can absolutely smell all the scents. With this, there was nothing. It's like magic. When you use this, they have kind of a dips, <clears throat> a matte feel to them, but the top coat absolutely gives them that high shine that you want, or at least that I want. I know some matte looks are in. I, it's not a look I personally go for, but you know, there are matte top coats too. So if that's what you wanted, you could absolutely do that.
And I don't know if they have a nap time code. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me while we did this. This was so much fun. I had an absolute blast. I love the look on my nails. I love the little turtles. He's so cute. There are so many more designs I have to play with. I will link everything that I use down below. And also with Catherine, you will get 10% off. If you have any questions, just let me know. If I don't know the answer, I will try and find it out. But I have to tell you, this was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. And in theory, I'm only going to get better, which is awesome. I want to thank Maniology for sending this over and you guys for coming over and hanging out with me while we did it. And I will see you again really soon. Have a great evening, guys. Bye.